welcome everyone to this very special day here at Eastside as we formally announce the Newark Public Schools Teacher Academy here at Eastside High School. You can see from the red carpet that this is a momentous occasion. This is our Oscar Award ceremony and the Oscar Award is going to the students entering into the Teacher Academy, which will be many, so we're looking forward to that. Before I continue, I would like to recognize all the special guests that we have in the room right now for your commitment and dedication in making this Teacher Academy a reality for the students of Newark. So if you could please stand, we would like to give you an Eastside welcome and a round of applause. So all our special guests, if you could please stand. Again, thank you. Thank you for your commitment and dedication in making this a reality. We appreciate this here at Eastside High School. Also, Eastside is honored to be partnering with the American Federation of Teachers, Montclair State University, the City of Newark, and of course, Newark Public Schools in this very innovative and one-of-a-kind experience for our students. I look forward to this very meaningful and productive morning session today, as well as the session we will have in the library following this formal presentation. Before I turn the program over to the microphone over to Superintendent Leone, I would like to call up Ms. Netto and Mr. Glasner for one moment. These two amazing instructional leaders will be coordinating the Teacher Academy here at Eastside High School. Let's give them a round of applause for all the hard work that they have been doing and will continue to do as we move forward with this program. Thank you guys, I appreciate all your help. Now, Superintendent Leone, on behalf of everyone here at Eastside, let me express our gratitude for your vision in making this Teacher Academy a reality and an option for our Newark students. We would like to present you this gift basket for all the work that you've done for us here at Eastside. Once an Eastsider, always an Eastsider. Sir? I thought they were receiving that for their incredible words, and I received it, so thank you very much. And thank you to the students that are here. There are a number of people, before I actually get started, that need to be um, recognized, so I wanna take this opportunity to do that. Our board president is here, Josephine Garcia. The vice president, Dawn Haynes, will they please stand? We have board member, Leah Owens, please stand. And we have board member, Floesha Hill, would you please stand? These are four of our board of education members and I thank them uh, for being present. We have friends in the work. Uh, we have Donna Shiera, president of AFT New Jersey with us, please stand. <laughs> Joining her is Rich Wolfson, president of AFT Montclair. Will he please stand? He's in the back. And obviously we have our own, very own president of the Newark Teachers Union, John Abagon. Thank you. And just arriving, we have board member Yambali uh, Gomez. Uh, present with us, we have our very own Essex County freeholder, Leonard Luciano. And uh, who already provided us remarks in the library uh, was New Jersey's very own education committee Chairperson, the Honorable M. Teresa Ruiz, State Senator. So we thank her for uh, being here with us today. When I became superintendent, I made a commitment to expand educational opportunities for our students and to identify partners who shared our passion for our students. There are many people who care about this city, but we needed to partner with people who had the same passion and the direction that this school district needed to move in. And we clearly found that with our two partners today. Today represents the beginning of a new chapter for our high schools. As we launched this, the first in a series of high school academies that will connect Newark's public school students to promising futures, starting with the Teacher Education Academy. And what better place to start 
than at Eastside High School. Together, we are preparing our students to be, to be the best teachers in Newark, to be the best teachers in New Jersey, and to be the best teachers anywhere they decide to go in America. I want to take this opportunity to thank the incredible work that the president of Montclair State University has, in fact, done for that incredible institution, ranking it the 10th best teacher education preparedness program in the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Susan Cole. The work that President Weingarten is doing for the American Federation of Teachers made it really, really simple for us to figure out who was going to be the professional organization that was going to work with us. So I want to take this opportunity and with all of the students that are here at Eastside High School and all of our guests to please take this opportunity to thank and recognize President Randy Weingarten. Every high school that is a comprehensive high school will have from one to several academies. Eastside High School, because of its enrollment, will have more high schools than just one. Every comprehensive high school's academy will have three people, three entities that will in fact work with them. First, we are matching every academy at a comprehensive high school with a magnet high school. The magnet high school selected to work with the teacher academy at Eastside High School is University High School of the Humanities. Every academy in every comprehensive high school will have two partners, a higher education partner and a professional organization that is an expert in whatever is being studied at that academy. Today, we will announce that Montclair State University will be the education, higher education partner, and the American Federation of Teachers will in fact be the professional organization partnering. This concept will exist in every single comprehensive high school for however many academies they actually are. It will always be a match to a magnet high school, and it always will be a partner with one higher education institution and a professional organization. While we open the door and invite everyone and anyone who thinks they can help this school district become better, let's be very, very clear. We are going to the very, very best to help us improve this school district. And while there, we have many partners in both organizations ready and willing to help us at Eastside High School's Teacher Academy, we are modeling that we are going right to the very best to share with you some of the things that are actually occurring here at Eastside High School. We have members of the staff, as well as three student representatives that are going to actually brief everyone on what we are doing at Eastside High School so that everyone can hear what we're going to do because of the partnerships. So I take this opportunity to invite advisors, Karen Leon, who is not my cousin, Bernarda Amarante and Brian Klasner for some advisors' remarks and reflections. Good morning, everyone. I'm Karen Leon, and one of the future teachers of America Club Advisor, uh, along with Mr. Amarante. And we like to give the students the opportunity to explore the teaching career because we are um, trying to recruit students and thinking about coming back to the school and giving to the community. So we embrace this wonderful career that most people do not know what it's all about. The students, they go to different high schools and well, actually we do elementary schools and the elementary schools that we partner with they give us the opportunity to take the students and they teach. They teach these kids 
they prepare lesson plans, they uh, do activities with the kids, and at the end of the day, they're asking us, when are we coming back? Because they love it. So we want to recruit more students, and I would like to, uh, all the members of the club, please stand up. And we also, who else better than our president, Nicole Rodriguez, and our vice president, Michelle Pena, to talk about what they do uh, in our club. Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to Easter High School. Um, our name is Nicole Rodriguez, Michelle Pena, and we are seniors, and we're here to talk to share about our experience, our, our future teacher of America. The Future Teacher of America Club is just like a real teacher. The junior achievement will provide us with a kit. In the kit, brains, <laughs> um, workbooks, activities for the kids, reading books, so you can read. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, you will have amazing experience with the kids. Um, at the end of the day, they will surprise you with beautiful cards with their names on it and messages. Thank you for having us and have a wonderful day. Hi, welcome everyone. So, most of you know me, I'm Mr. Klasner, I'm the director of Big Picture, and don't worry to all my Big Picture students, Dr. Santos and Mr. West told me I have to keep it brief, not my usual hour. With that said, I'm also not allowed to tell any jokes. We will see. So, first off, I want to thank everyone for allowing me to become the director of the new Teacher Academy. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that, and I want you all to know that I'm prepared to make sure that this moves forward with some of the best pieces that we already have here at Eastside High School through the Big Picture Academy and the Teaching Club with our amazing internship experience where passion truly does meet purpose. So I'd like to introduce the real star, the president of Big Picture, currently at an educational internship, Genesis, come on down. <laughs> Good morning, um, I'm Genesis, I'm a senior, as some of you may know, may not know. But to kind of piggyback on what he was saying about me having an internship, um, I am a big picture, I've been in it for two years, and I have been having the same internship for the two years I've been here. I work at McKinley Elementary with the special needs program, so basically I kind of sit there with the kids that maybe don't have that extra like ability to do things, so kind of sit there and kind of push them to know that they can and they will succeed regardless of disability or not. So um, it's been a really great experience for me, just kind of like knowing that I'm out here helping people. Um, so yeah, so I'm really happy to be knowing that other people are gonna have this experience along with me. So thank you. Please let's give these three teachers and um, these three students as well as Everyone that's in the club, a big round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you. And so here we are. And so what happens? So after this announcement, um, and everyone actually goes back to class, the good folks that were meeting with us in the library are gonna get to work. They're gonna review everything that we do. And both of these partners, they're responsible their big responsibility is going to be to say, what we're actually offering to you is worthy of you. This is all about you. And this same example that we're modeling here, we will be modeling at every single academy, at every single high school. And it is with just great um, honor and uh, pride that I have the responsibility of just introducing both of these incredible women to uh, this incredible student body, the president of Montclair State University, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Susan Cole. Good 
Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here. It's my first time in Eastside High School. It will not be my last time because I like it here. It's terrific. I am thrilled and the whole university is thrilled to be collaborating with our partners, with the Newark Public Schools, with the AFT, uh, and with Eastside High School to do something extraordinary here. And it will be extraordinary that I promise you. I want you to just um, say hello to all the folks from Montclair State who are with us today. Dean Lucas and all of your crew there, everybody from Montclair State, stand up. I really just want to say one thing that's important this morning. If you think about what is the most important thing, the most important thing in the world to Newark, to the state of New Jersey, to the United States of America, and to, as a consequence, the rest of the world. The most important thing is what happens in Eastside High School and all the other high schools like it in this city and across this nation. This is where the future of the world is created, right here. It's about you. You deserve the best, and let me tell you that we don't stand here, all of us today, without knowing that you can give the best. And so we want to give you the best so that you can be the best. Don't ever let anyone tell you you can't. You've got all the brains and all the potential you need. We just have to do it together because you hold the future in your hands. Without the public schools of this city, there is no state of New Jersey. There isn't. You are the future of this state. So it's true that Montclair State University has absolutely one of the best teacher preparation programs in the country. Um, by the way, one of the products of our <laughs> of our College of Education is the inspiring Superintendent Leon, who comes with a vision that is fantastic for the Newark schools. We're so thrilled to be a part of it. We really are. And what the plan is, if you're gonna have a great school, you have to have great teachers. You have some, you need more, and you need them into the future and some of you are going to be those people. And you're not just going to be good teachers, you're going to be the best teachers that there can be. We can accomplish that. It's exciting. It's hard work. You're going to have to work hard. Nothing comes easily. Nothing comes easily. But if we work together, and it's the collaboration that really counts, and we really work hard, and we are rigorous and intentional about what we do, we will not just change our lives, all of your lives, we will change the city and we will change the world. That's the truth. So I'm thrilled to be here today and I greet you all with great warmth. I hope you will all come and visit at Montclair State University. We'd love to have you there and we will come and visit with you as well. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the American Federation of Teachers, Randy Weingarten. Okay, I need a little help here. Are you, um, and I always find, I'm, I'm a, recovering high school social studies teacher <clears throat> from Brooklyn, New York. Anybody know Brooklyn? I know we're Newark. Brooklyn, who knows Brooklyn? Crown Heights, Brooklyn is where I taught high school. I am so excited to be here. And I thought about um, a poster 
that I have in my office in Washington, D.C. After I was a teacher, I happened to be the president of the teachers union, just like John Abagon is for Newark, I was for New York City. And I want to also just thank again John and Donna and our staff from AFT would you, and, and our leader from Montclair State all the way back there, would you just all stand and just be recognized because these are the people who will be doing a lot of the work. Thank you. And while you're doing that, can I have the other teachers in the room, including the academic um, college teachers, just stand for a moment? Because I want you to stand for a moment. All of you who are teachers in the room, I know you're here. I know you're shy. John is gonna, John is gonna make sure you stand because I want the students to repeat after me these words. I inspire. Oh my God, I know Esai can do better than that. I inspire. I, inspire. I, encourage. I encourage. I empower. I, empower. I, nurture. I nurture. I activate. I, I, motivate. I motivate. I change the world. I, change the world. I, am, a I am a teacher. That poster, that poster, okay, everybody can sit now. That poster, which you see right here, and that balloon, the poster is of the same colors as all the balloon. That poster sits in my office or is in my office. I see it every day that I am in my office. Because that is who, as Dr. Cole said, as every one of your teachers here know, that is what teachers do. That is who teachers are. We feel this incredible responsibility of the world, of all of you in this room, of every other student who is in school right now, of students who may not be in school right now that we have to lure back in. We hold the future because you are the future. And so what better way of starting these academies of starting this new model for Newark that Dr. DeLeon is doing than by starting with a teacher academy. And a teacher academy here where you already have a future educator association, where you already have an advisor who understands that passion must meet purpose. What better place than here? And what better time than now? And ultimately, I remember, and I'm so glad the mayor is the mayor, I remember being in Newark, John, remember this, in 2010, with Pedro Nogueira, with Lauren Wells, with the Newark Teachers Union, with Roz Baraka, who was then a principal, starting the Global Village Zone. Another idea where, and I see board members like shaking their head, because this was an idea of putting together the village in a neighborhood high school, wrapping services around, and doing the kind of work that we knew and know that Newark can do. A dream. Then it was a dream deferred. Now it is a dream fulfilled because of all of you and because of all of you. And we are honored, honored, honored to be part of this. Honored. A dream deferred at one point, fulfilled now. But this dream is about two things as well that are really important. Grow your own programs. Because at the end of the day, people don't want to be teachers anymore. We saw in a poll this year, gold standard poll in our space, Phi Delta Kappen, a majority of respondents said they would not encourage their children to be teachers. And teacher turnover is an all-time high at the very same time as churches are activated all across the country to fight for what children need. You've seen that all around the country. We need to grow our own. We need to grow our own in our communities. And that is part of what this project is about. How we encourage all of you, or at least some of you, to want to actually hold the future and be that pillar of democracy and of engagement and of opportunity. And the second thing we want to do, and we understand this, and let me be really frank, we need to diversify our teaching force. Right now, 
45% of our kids are kids of color, and yet 83% of our teachers are white. Now, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing or a good thing. What I am saying is that when we diversify our teaching force, when people feel like the teachers they have know them, understand them, are part of a community, that is really, really important. We must be part of broader communities, but that starts with understanding all of our communities and deeply respecting all of our communities, which means we need to have a whole lot more teachers who are men and a whole lot more teachers who are of color. And it starts here and it starts now. So, we got two really important purposes. How do we have teaching being respected as a profession again? How do we grow our own? And also, how do we diversify? And that is why the AFT very much, these are things that we've worked on all throughout the country. We have a bunch of these different programs throughout the country, and that is why we are really honored to be part of this. Because ultimately, you need to have teachers who are part of this, you need to have a college that's part of it, you need to have people who believe in this, and most importantly, you need to have all the students that are here. Because we may, as teachers, want what you need, but at the end of the day, we need your passion. We need your resilience. We need your power. We need your creativity. We need your dreams. We need your sense of you can be anything you want to be once you have the knowledge and skills to do it. So are you ready for this project? Are you ready to be part of it? Are you ready to make Newark the center of the world again? Thank you very much. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, will all of the members of the central office team that are here and responsible in joining in this partnership, will all of you please stand for a very well-deserved round of applause, the deputy, the assistant superintendent of the high schools, Chamiris Mantaran. So those of you who have uh, studied the NPS Clarity 2020 um, project, you also understand that there are some game changers. This is something that I studied out of the University of Washington, and it was because of a partnership with Montclair State University, in fact. Um, you know, Dr. John Goodlads talks about and taught me, as I sat at his ankles, the whole idea of reciprocity. You don't do things because you get things. But to have a true partnership, both parties need to benefit from the experience. So in a meeting that I had months ago with Dr. Cole, you know, I talked to her about being uh, the lead higher education partner, and she, without a doubt, obviously um, said yes. And then I thought for a moment, I said, how can I help her? See, we're Newark, and we get confused. We believe and unfortunately, others believe that because we are so needy, that we need them, and that we cannot help somebody else. And that changes. It changes right now. So in conversations with Dr. Cole, I shared with her that the incredible brilliance that she has in the teacher education preparedness program needs to get into her master's program in education leadership. She had a meeting the very next morning with her key staff members. They called a meeting with my key staff members. She had about 30 people. We went to Montclair State University, and part of what we will try to do is the exact same teacher education program to create a pipeline for administrators so that not only do you become a teacher in the city of Newark, but if you actually stay with the program at Montclair State University, we will actually develop you as actual school leaders. So what do they get? I announced today that any and all students 
that are attending uh, Montclair State University. And in fact, this will be something that we share across uh, our higher education partners that actually dare to work in our school district as teachers. And I say dare, because in order for you to work here, you can't be good. Ladies and gentlemen, I have many good teachers. I need great teachers working in the city of Newark. And so I dare Montclair State University that any student teacher that actually begins their studies here in our school system, we will offer them a contract. So that when they in fact graduate from college, if they have all of the conditions necessary to accept the job, then they automatically do not need to look for any other job in any other school district. And that is the gift that I leave the students in the Teacher Academy here at Eastside High School. Listen carefully because you might not have heard it very well. So as it relates to Eastside High School, everything that we're doing in these academies at the comprehensive high schools is starting sooner. That's the game changer, is going a couple of steps ahead. So instead of waiting for you to get to college, we're actually providing you the college experience like you heard from the three students here. So here's the gift you get. If you're in the Teacher Academy, Education Academy program at Eastside High School, and remember, there are students at other elementary schools that are figuring out what academies to attend when they go to ninth grade. There may be high school students in other high schools who want to become a teacher. The sole place to become a teacher in the city of Newark will be Eastside High School, the only place. Watch what happens. After you graduate from high school, you get a diploma from Mr. West. He calls your name, Mr. Tavares calls your name. He, he Mr. West, hands you a diploma. You're also going to get something. Upon completion from college, meeting all of the requirements, if you're in the teacher education program, we will also give you a contract. We're gonna issue you a teaching contract. As of right now, if you were a teacher, it's not that much, $50,000. Any student who's here who wants to become a teacher and you're good, there are over 603 other school districts that need good people. This one needs great people. So if you're gonna be great, I need you to choose to be great in the great city of Newark. And I tell you today, if you're in the Teacher Education Academy, like these three young ladies in fact are, plus a number of the classmates that I met, when you graduate and you get that high school diploma, we will have in that diploma a contract to be a teacher in Newark upon completion of all of New Jersey's uh, uh, requirements to actually uh, be a certified teacher in New Jersey. You do everything that you're supposed to, this school district hands you $50,000. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> just as a little plug for the school district, I have resource officers. I have teachers, obviously. I have attorneys. I have carpenters. I have to hire people all the time. So if there's an interest that you have, I want you to think that actually working in the Newark Board of Education might, in fact, be the right place to, for you. And if you decide to go to a college outside of New Jersey, well, we clearly know there's there are several incredible institutions in this great state. Wherever you decide to go, we want you to come back and make Newark better. Making Newark better is what this mayor, is what makes him exist. I share with you that I received several text messages from the start of this morning because there will only be one thing that would keep him away from, uh, from being here. He has asked the city's chief education officer to represent him with some very important words, and I take this opportunity to uh, recognize Antoinette Baskerville Richardson, chief education officer, city of Newark. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, uh, Superintendent Leon. On behalf of Mayor Baraka, and I apologize for him because he really wanted to be here today because there's nothing more important to him than education. Uh, the, this is an ideal partnership, a partnership between Montclair State University and the American Federation of Teachers 
You just, it, students, it doesn't get better than this. And the reason that it doesn't get better than this is because you have two entities who some people think are at odds, who are actually aligned and who are aligned in your interest and who are aligned not only to improve education in Newark, but to improve the quality of life in the city by hopefully preparing you guys, if you want to, to come back and to become a part of the positive life in the city of Newark. So I have to get just a little bit personal here and let me say one person, if there's two people I hate to speak after, one is Mayor Baraka and the other is Randy Weingarten. So it's a bit intimidating, but. So personally for me, I am a graduate of Montclair State University. I got my um, teaching, uh, my training to be a teacher there, majoring in, uh, speech and theater arts and uh, minoring in English and uh, getting my teaching certification in both of those. When I became a teacher in Newark, New Jersey, I was very active in the NTU, the Newark Teachers Union, which is, uh, which the AFT is the parent organization of, and I actually uh, function on their, uh, in an executive capacity there for many years. Uh, stayed in the district for, for 36 years, retired, still wanted to be involved, uh, served on the Newark uh, School Board for two terms, and then I was asked by Mayor Baraka to take this position in his administration for education. I'm not telling you this to talk about me. My point is that if you really have an interest in education, you create the trajectory for yourself by first being a great teacher. That's the first thing to do. And once you are what others may call a great teacher, but what you will know is always a person who is developing more and more, doors will open for you. So if you're interested in education, this academy is the first step, and there will be many other opportunities that will come for you. Mayor Baraka is optimistic about the future. He is optimistic about this academy. He is actually elated about this academy because he is very concerned about the future of this city and training teachers to become, training young people who have an interest in education and teaching to be teachers and come back in this city is more than anyone can hope for. If you've ever heard the mayor speak, he always talks to young people in particular about staying in the city or coming back to the city, no matter where you go to school, he hopes that you will land back here. And I always say, if you don't land here, always keep Newark with you and always spread the love and the culture that you receive in this city, wherever you go in the world. So thank you from the mayor to the superintendent, to the board, and to the school district. And to the young people, you are the most important people here. All of this talk is actually about you and your future. It's not a happy thought, but we'll be gone and you'll be here. And what we all hope is that what is being done in your interest today will carry you on into the future and enable you to do even better for the next generation. So live in Newark, love Newark, and uplift Newark. And it begins, if you want to be an educator, right here, right now with this academy. Thank you. Thank you the president of the Newark Board of Education, the Honorable Josephine Garcia. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Newark Board of Education, my board colleagues who are here, Fluhisha Johnson, Yambly Gomez, Leah Owens, my vice chair, which I truly appreciate and adore, Dawn Haynes, we would like to say congratulations, congratulations. Take advantage of this opportunity. Test it out. It doesn't hurt, give it a shot. Not everyone's made to be a teacher, but now that I sit on the Board of Education, it takes a lot to be a teacher. You really have to love your job and love what you do. 
to the students who spoke earlier, Nicole Rodriguez, Michelle Peña, en mis palabras en español le voy a decir, luerguen su sueño. Esta va a ser una oportunidad que no todos los estudiantes en la ciudad de Newark van a tener. Luegre su sueño de ser una maestra. Con todo corazón y el alma a tu trabajo, un trabajo divino, y lo logra. Tenemos un superintendente aquí, el señor León, que le da todo el apoyo todos los días a todos nuestros estudiantes. To Genesis Chavez, I was told you were accepted into 10 colleges. Those are great options. Great options. As everyone has said prior to me, come back, give back to your city. I was born and raised in this city. I educated three kids in this city. Uh, two out of the three are out of the city, but they come back during spring break, during summers, and give back to their city. It's nothing better than coming back and saying, this is where I work, this is where I live, this is where I teach. Give back, okay? If there's anything you do, come back and give back. I know sometimes when you get that diploma, you leave and you don't want to look back. Give back, trust me. Um, once again, uh, thank you to Dr. Susan Cole, Randy Weinberger, to Mayor Baraka, and Ms. Baskerville Richardson, who's here. This is going to be the most comprehensive program here in our city out of the East Ward. I hope we get many students from every other ward that apply and take advantage of this program. But again, thank you very much, and thank you for having us, and the best of luck to all of you. We're almost done, we're almost done. So I know that um, Dr. Santos has, um, you know, devoted to getting this school to an absolutely incredible place. Um, it is called the Comprehensive High School with the Magnet Touch. It distinguishes itself in a real profound way. It really does, you know, as a student, as a teacher in this district and then as principal, he's modeled for us that, you know, no one is perfect, but it takes a lot of hard work to actually take something that's really, really good and work hard at making it great. So to bring some closing remarks, and then we have one event that occurs right after those closing remarks, the new assistant superintendent of the high schools, Dr. Mario Santos. Oh, you know, this is beautiful. It's beautiful to be back here a couple years later, actually over a decade, and um, to be witnessing this. So over a decade ago, there was a, a, a dream team. I'm going, we're going a couple of years, right? Um, when I was in my 20s, a little bit over a decade ago, the dream team that had the heart, mind, and soul, and that was Dr. Bolden, Deputy Superintendent Nelms, and assistant superintendent of the high schools, Roger Leone. You guys remember that? They dared me. For those of us who don't remember, again, I was in my 20s, and I was tapped to be the principal of my alma mater. And at the time, my heart was sunk because this school was in dire need of to be revived because of the failure that was happening here in this school because students did not believe in themselves. Over 1,200 students were failing. Less than 100 kids were on the honor roll. And so one of the signs we put, and as I'm looking at and listening to the speeches, listening to this amazing human beings, creating that dream again, that sign that you see here behind you, dare to be great. We put that sign because that was the charge of that dream team, saying to dare us to be that great school again. And you know what? We did it. Because you fast forward over a decade ago, fast forward to now, there, do you know there are over 800 students on the honor roll in this school? 800 students on the honor roll. Students graduating with an associate's degree. And as I sit here, the new dream team, Superintendent Leon, with heart, mind, and soul, has given us a new challenge. Not just for Eastside High School, but for all the high schools. Not for just 2,000 babies here, but for every baby in Newark. That's over 8,000 babies in the high schools. That we are going to be second to none. And what I heard today from these amazing human beings, that is going to be happening. It's not just about the 2,000 kids. It's going to be 8,000 plus students that are going to be second to none in whatever their passion and purpose is. 
I'm excited. I'm honored to be part of that dream team. And once again, I want to thank you, Superintendent, for allowing me to give me the opportunity because we are going to be second to none. Thank you. All right. So, you know, as in history, especially now, you can Google whatever and know whatever faster than whatever, right? So ultimately, there are a lot of people, some may actually be in this room, who may think that this isn't going to work. But I have every confidence that it's going to work because I have evidence that when people who care about what we are talking about, which is the education of the beautiful students that are in this room that represent this city, that everything is possible. Regardless of what you look like, regardless of who you are, it's possible. And there are people who don't want that to happen. And they write about it. Some of them write about it daily because it's easy. It's easy. It's easy to lose. And that's what they will do. Because what we're going to do is only going to make our city greater, is only going to make our community more vibrant. And it's only going to do one important thing, and that is scare a whole lot of people who don't want it to happen. So at this time, what we're going to do, I need Mr. West, because I think the order is Mr. West. Then we need Dr. Cole behind him, and then Ms. Weingarten. So we have several documents that are here. This will actually begin. There, there'll be memorandums of understanding and agreements and things of that nature. But these documents right here have the signatures or are about to have the signatures of five different entities. So um, starting with me. Okay. Then we have Dr. Susan Cole, the president of Montclair State University. Then it'll be your principal, Mr. West. Then it will be Randy Weingarten. And then the last signature, we, he does not want this to be done without the mayor's signature. So we will then get all of these to the mayor. We will deliver to Montclair and to Ms. Weingarten their copies of it. One will remain at, in central office for the board and for everyone in the public to see. And then the last one will remain in the lobby here at Eastside High School.
A big round of applause to an Eastside High School Raider. Great job, great job. And I know that some of our teaching staff members are sitting amongst you as they are supposed to. So some of them look just as young as all of you. So I wanna take this uh, opportunity to thank all of my teachers that are here for modeling the greatness that we know our students at this school deserve. Thank you. Thank you again, Eastside, for being such a remarkable audience. Give yourself another round of applause. Again, appreciate it. Students at this point, yay, all right, there we go, perfect timing. Congratulations, nicely done, Eastside. At this point, students, you're going to move to your block two class, block two. Thank you for being a great audience. You're going to your block two class. Thank you.